Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I am thrilled to be here today with the Pink Fresh Studio and Hero Arts collaborative stamp set, You Make a Difference. As you can see, it is absolutely beautiful in true Pink Fresh and Hero Arts style, and it's got a really beautiful floral wreath image, or not really a wreath, but a floral image that goes around the a perimeter of the card and some really great lettering as well that was done by Kelly Person who is a design team member on both teams so it's a really special set. I've done two different cards with completely different looks today using the stamp set and I'd like to take you into how I created them. The first one I'm going to do is a no line sketch card. Now I don't want you to be nervous and skip ahead because this is super easy. So the first thing I'm going to do is place some removable adhesive or repositionable adhesive on the back side of a white piece of cardstock that is cut to four by five and a quarter. Now you will notice that I don't have a grid in my Misty and I wish that there was a better reason for this, but there really isn't. I just misplaced it. I took it out and misplaced it. So it's okay. It's all right. We're just going to use the foam. So, I've gone ahead and put that cardstock on top of the foam and I wanted to make sure that it didn't move around, which I do a lot for background stamps or these types of stamps. So that's why I use the removable adhesive. So I inked it up with Ink on 3's Fade Out Ink. This is a great no line ink. It's gonna be really tough for you to see on camera, but it's actually gonna be really cool because as you see me color, you'll see the images come to life. I'm going to use my Prismacolor colored pencils and I'm going to sharpen them until they could cut someone. <laughs> you want to have really, really sharp colored pencils when doing a technique like this. The sharper, the better. You don't want to have to put a lot of pressure down on your colored pencils when you're coloring at all, especially for something like no line coloring where you're making these lines yourself. So basically, I'm just going to go through here and trace the lines and then color them in. You'll see that I start out shading. So I use a few different shades, but then I realize that I really just want this to look like I sat down and sketched it out myself really quickly. And it was giving me more of a finished look than I actually really wanted. It was also taking a very long time. So I decided that I was going to just try simple coloring with my colored pencils and not do too much shading. I add a couple here and there, but you'll see for the most part, I keep it really simple. I'm gonna put on some music now just so you can see the entire uh, image come together and I will be back as soon as it's done. Just finishing up you can see the entire image come together and get a little idea of what I was talking about about the just freehand sketch look and for the sentiment I used the take pride in how far you have come and have faith in how far you can go and I stamped that and embossed it in white on black cardstock and then just cut each line in different strips so that I could fill that entire blank space in the center I then went ahead and put it on an A2 size card base and called it a day for my next card, I'm going to be using some alcohol inks because I'm obsessed with them still. So I'm going to be using some Ranger alcohol inks and I actually end up using just these three colors, pink, sherbet, purple twilight, and sunshine yellow. I also use this uh, squeezy air puffer thing. That's the very technical term for it. Um, and what I'm going to do is a technique that I have learned from watching some Jessica Frost Ballas videos. And what I'm going to do is just drop some 
color on with the alcohol inks and then just drop a little tiny bit of the alcohol blending solution and then rotate my cardstock as I'm puffing some air onto the pigment just to uh, move it around. Now I do add some metallic gold alcohol ink in here and it's a mixative uh, but I wish I hadn't in the end because what I end up doing is actually embossing in a very sparkly gold embossing powder the image where I have done the alcohol ink and this gold really sort of prevents it from shining through. Uh, when you look at it you see these big gold pieces and that's immediately what your eye is drawn to rather than the really nice sparkly gold uh, embossing powder that I end up embossing the image onto. Uh, so I would I would omit that personally, uh, but if you really like the like a very metallic look with a lot of shine in it, then maybe it's for you. And I think that that's great. So what I did was just sort of do this arch type thing and I did it along the bottom and up the right side of the cardstock. So this is where I'm going to do some selective stamping. And to do that, I'm going to put some blue painter's tape where I do not want the image to stamp. I'm going to put that right onto the cardstock and then I'm also going to put a little bit onto the stamp itself just to make sure that I don't get any ink on there. I know that I'm only going to ink up what I need, but because I can't see it on top of the cardstock exactly, it's hard to sort of figure out or decide where you exactly need to put that ink. I've gone ahead and prepped my alcohol ink cardstock card front with a powder tool and this will ensure that the embossing powder that I pour over top will only stick to the Versamark ink that I've inked up the stamp with. Of course you may get a little uh, excess or flyaways onto the rest of the cardstock or the card front, but you can just use a paintbrush, a dry paintbrush to wipe that away. If you're interested in the embossing powder that I've used, it's linked in the description along with all of the other products used today. And now I'm just going to go ahead and heat set it with my heat tool and this will give it a really nice sparkly metallic look. After it's set completely, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment and I've decided to use the I'm your biggest fan sentiment which is included in the set and I've stamped this with stays on black ink because this is a very slick surface, so I wanted to make sure that I got a really good impression. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and gotten a few ideas on how you can use this collaborative stamp set. As always, all of the links to the supplies are you, that I use today are in the description, as well as links to my social media and to my blog post, which is part of the hop today. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I will see you again very soon. Thank you.